The captain wants to see you on the deck, Silver. You want a handle? No. down in the water. Get the men in there. Take your chances. Put your muscles up, Billy Bones. I said, go down or you will be blown down. That treasure you're taking, Captain, ain't yours to steal it. <laughs> ben Gunn's getting his words in a twist, but the truth is... Over. We've all shared the thieving and the dying. I am the law on this ship. I'm sharing with none. Now, I top things up, Captain. And I know, because it's tattoos on my brain, what each man here is entitled to. Now, let's disband, if that's what's due. But let us all have the lives we've earned, Flint. Let us share in this... You talk too much, John Silver. Get in it, Johnny Boy! Get off this shit! Anything you need or I can do professionally or as your father's friend, I'm then in the inn open, sir, so I expect we'll be seeing you. Then call on me. Yes, Jim.
We're not open today, sir. Let's have the rum, boy. Let's be having it. The boy told you you're not open. Uh, having it now. Of course, sir. Mm. This is a handy cove. This place. I want to speak to the man here. I'm the man here. Mm. You'll get much company. Just locals. Bristol traffic stays to the high road. Then this will be me then. Oh, we don't do rooms. Yes, we do. We do. If you're paying. Oh, I'm paying. Yeah, I'm paying. The rum, the bacon and the eggs is all I want. What do we call you then, sir? You can call me the captain. That's what you say. the room, sir. I, I need you to do something for me, Jimmy. What? I want to know the minute any seafaring man comes down that trap. And one of these will be yours. Each week. No seafaring man. And keep the grog coming, boy. Let's keep these horrors away. with Captain Flint, I did. He was my man of honor, Jim. Biggest dog in the sea. He would bite your legs off, Jimmy. He would bite your fingers off to get at your rings. And he was my captain. Flint would line up the officers. He would bind them tight, chain cannonballs to their feet. Throw them over the side to see if they floated. But he had honor now. Yes. He was not above a bit of mercy. Send them off on the big, wide, in little jolly boats. Letting them take their chances. It was mercy, was it? <laughs> you want another one, Doctor? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Fifteen men on the dead matches. Yo ho ho, and a bunch of bloody wrong. He got the devil and don't hold him. He's a bit of life, isn't he, Meg? He drinks us dry. And he stopped paying. And Cookie's throat was marked me like. <laughs> How are you? It's a struggle, Doctor, as you know. There's some for what he has. No. Nick. And there they lay on the soggy skies. Drip down all day in your staring eyes. It was sunset and clouds on rise. Ah. Don't go near the bucket. 
It's evil. Bill. Black dog. No, no, I'm not here to fight. I'm here to talk. Talk to my old shipmate. About the good times and the thieving. And about our old captain. And the Megs and Bacon sounded good to me too. Merchantman, friend of fella. I heard it. Yeah, well, I hear things too, Willie. And I've heard from many a mouth that the old man's dead. Truth in that. Truth enough. And that his old sick corpse was not surrounded by any sign of his ill gotten wealth. Truth in that. What happened after Fled drifted us law boys on the sea? I'll leave this gap in our talk, Bill, for you to fill it. And if you don't, I know seafaring men in Bristol have been waiting three years for you and will pay me grand if I tell where you are. Went to the island. Made our deposit. Stand good a while. Took his saddle off going to Carolina. Dreamt of buying some land. Plantation. Flint didn't trust no one. Knew it was safe sleeping where it lay. No one could find it without his map. Hey, my treasure. Where it is, Billy. I'll haunt him that takes it. Get the doctor! I'll haunt him to his grave. I'll drag him. Drag him down with me. Where's the map? The map. Where is it? Lost, I don't know. Where's Flint's map? Died with him, I don't know. Ask me that once more. I stick a blade in you. So what's the plan, Billy? You in Bristol to get a ship to get back there? Hmm? You? A man who needs an order from his captain to tell him when to buckle his boot in the morning. As soon as you open that mouth outside these walls, you will be found, Billy Bones. And that quartermaster and his boys will end your days. But they'll never know you're washed up here. If you give me the map. You're 
if Billy's back and you don't tell Long John first. It's a wonder you're not sitting here with a new grin in your neck, from ear to ear. Pew, let's do this right. friend, inform a blind old man who lost his precious sight in the gracious defense of his majesty King George, where or in what part of the country may now be. This is the Admiral Benbow, Black Hill Cove. Oh, is it now? Oh, is it? And would the owner of that young voice come kindly here? Would he help this old soldier? And would he let me take his hand? Will he do that out of the kindness of his heart? And guide me inside? My mother will find you some food. But we don't have much. Thank you. Thank you kindly, young man. <laughs> Billy Bones now, or I'll break this arm. Sir, sir, he sits with his cutlass, sir. Now, when I come into view, you say... There's another friend for you, Bill. Oh, shh. I can do it. Ah. Oh, the oak and the oak and the honey. He flourishes. There's another up. friend for you, Bill. Be mine. Stay where you are, Bill. I can't see. I hear a finger stirring. Bill. And business is business. Now take his hand and bring it to me, boy. There. The black spot is down. Coming for me, Jim. They are coming. What's the writing on it? Hmm? Tonight. They are coming for me, Jim. It comes. There'll be money in his chest, Jim. They're going to come back. I won't want you. No, they'll come back and they'll kill us if they find a thief in the chest. Not thieving. We need help. They'll be cut through. Come on. Doctor! Doctor! Flint Screw coming to the Admiral Benbow. We need that money, David, or we'll be done for. Yes. Yes. Let me just... Um... Come on. No. I'll sell them right for the revenues, men. I hear they've been patrolling in Kitts Cove. No. We need you to come now. Let me ride for the men. The revenues men, Jim, will help. Jim. Jim. Use this if you have to. I'm going to get the revenues, man. It is pure. Good. Good. Come on, lad, step on it. I should be hearing more for you. He's coming. He'll have a key on him. He's sure. Look, there. Bones, we've come early for you, Bill. It's all the boys you've sent drifting, Billy. 
Mother say. Your mother's going to sleep upstairs. You can sleep here. Yes, sir. Doctor. Two years, Jim. Now. And the baby. What's that? I think it's what Vince Kruger were after. Twelfth of June, seventeen forty-five, off Caracas. Seven thousand pounds. You see here, Jim, this is latitude and longitude. It's like an account book. That's exactly it. It's Flint's tally of the ships he's taken. Is it the money, Jim? Three thousand pounds here, ten thousand? Let's see. Let's see. These markings. Doctor, I heard Bones tell that black dog that Flint had hidden his treasure and made a map. It has to be. This is Flint here. Oh, Jim. Oh, no, Jim. This is fortune. I, I must collect myself. If this book is what is buried here, there must be more money than men like us. Men like your father, Jim, would see in a, an eternity. My mother would want for nothing. No. We would all be free. All of us, free of these lives we lead, Jim. Free to be as... as gentlemen. Will we go? We must go. Oh, have you sailed? Well, no, but I have maps of the seas. I know I have about, and I have knowledge of how the world works. And the world works best. 
And there is a plan. I will plan a venture, Jim Hawkins, and we will both profit wildly. Trust me, boy. <laughs> this is genuine. Yes. My proposition, Squire Trelawney, is that I will hire a sea captain, Jim and I, crew a schooner out of Bristol, equip it for the purpose of excavation, and set out on an expedition for this island, which I believe to be here, sir, just here, in the West Indies. For which I request capital of a thousand pounds, the return on which I guarantee at 500%. Five thousand for a thousand pound punt? Not a punt, sir, a guarantee. And I'm equipped to lead the expedition, for I served as medical officer with the Duke of Cumberland at Fontenoy. How much are you expecting to find on Captain Flint's island, Dr. Livesey? We don't want to say, sir. Young Mr. Hawkins, whose father was always in arrears on the Benbow. He borrowed money from me also, is that not so, Mr. Redwood? That is so. 300,000 pounds. 300,000. I know of a sea captain called Smollett, sir, who's of the highest reputation, having served under Admiral Hawke before he became a merchantman. Then get him to Bristol as soon as you can. I'll be taking rooms at the George. Gentlemen, good news. I will be financing the venture. And I will be commanding it myself. I hope that's agreeable, Dr. Livesey. That is most agreeable, sir. Hunter and Joyce are coming to Bristol, aren't you, lads? Sir. Yes, sir. And will help crew the ship I go to purchase, because haste is of the essence. Absolute essence. You will double as the medical man on ship, Livesey. Yes, and we will need a ship's boy. You still want the adventure of a lifetime, young man. Yes, Squire. And the berth is yours. Be in Bristol by the end of next week. When your father was away, he'd say, look at the moon, Meg. Look at it every night and know that wherever I am in the world, I'll be looking at it too. Let's go, Jim. Dr. Lizzie thinks we'll be three months. Hispaniola. Hispaniola, eh? Well, how about I give you a hand trying to find it? Thank you, sir. Jim. Come on board, Hawkins. Is this our ship? 
She is. My Hispaniola, bought and fitted. That's why I was saying you could sell her tomorrow. Well, the services of a crew as simple to secure as the ship itself. Captain Smollett, who makes his way from Plymouth with all the haste of a snail, thinks we're a dozen short. I'll say she's a lovely ship, sir. Well chosen. Thank you. She's got an on her that would sit well on any rollicking sea. I always say a man who could choose a good horse could choose a good ship just by looking at its arse. And you, sir, look like a man who knows his way around a horse's arse. Yes, I do. Might I ask how long is the passage? Three months. To whom am I speaking? John Silver, sir. John Silver to you all, young man. Mr. Silver? May I inquire if you've nailed the service of a cook, a sea cook being what I am? I heard talk round about that you're scouting for a crew. Well, no, but, uh, Mr. Silver... Now, you don't need to go pointing out the lack of a peg, sir. You cooks with your fingers and your thumbs, not with your toes. Don't you, boy? No, I serve dishes down at the Spyglass, sir. And you won't get any niggle there about the food. Have you sailed, Mr. Silver? Ah, oh, since I was a lad's age, sir. Merchantman. Your first passage, son? It is, sir. Ah. You're lucky to be part of such a ship. Well, man, if you're serious, come on board and let the first mate show you the galley and we can talk terms. Begging your pardon, sir, but you shouldn't talk terms with a cook without first tasting his food. It's not marrying a girl before seeing how our mother's turned out. <laughs> so when you're good and ready, why don't you come down to Spyglass? Find the food tasty, then we should talk terms. Until then, good day to you. Good day, Mr. Silver. Jim. Sir. Another bottle of this, thank you, Silver. Ah. Now, Your Honour, I've been thinking about your situation, and if I may be so bold. This is excellent, Silver. Thank you, sir. If I might be so bold as to act as recruiting sergeant, I think I could crew your ship by the weekend. Well, then do it. With who? A ship came in from the Indies not six days ago. I know the men. We used to have the berth. I also know in a couple of days' time they will be penniless due to the... the pleasures of the poor. The first mate goes by the name of George Merry. I've employed a first mate, Silver. His name is Arrow. Oh, they come with the first mate, sir. It keeps them tight. Are you telling me my business, or are you cooking me my food? No, I'm cooking your food, sir. You can put it together, Silver. Bring them along by the weekend. No, first thing in the morning. We no time to waste. Bring the crew along first thing in the morning. First thing. First thing, Your Honor. All right, Jim. Here are the officer's plates. Yes, sir. Delicious. I like the new boy. Yeah, he's a good working lad, my sweet. You and me, Jim. We'll keep their bellies full on this voyage, won't we, lad? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Black Dog. Black Dog, that's one of Flint's crew. After him. After him, lad. Oh, it's quite trelawney. That was one of Flint's crew. Flint's crew. I saw him fight with Billy Bones. One of them buccaneers in my house. The landlord will have me out for this. He won't stand coming here. Sit yourselves down, gentlemen. I'll get you an extra ball. Lean away, John. Foss is a whip it. It's a working ship. And I am its captain. Son. What's your name, first mate? Arrow, sir. So where do you want the pig, sir? Pen it on the deck. Over there. Squire Trelawney on board. At church, captain. Why do you have to go? Why? Because this voyage is everything. It's everything, my love. After this, we'll be ground people. Carriages and frock coats. 
our own pew in church near the front where the action is. Nobody's cook. Nobody's tart. Can you just imagine the grand house we're going to live in? You wouldn't look good in a wig, Johnny. Well, I'd like to try it. And I would, my love. But you're aware. What if... What if something happened to me? Been to the bank. And this is everything we've got. I don't trust them banking crooks, so while I'm away, stuff it safe. You'll be all right. Men come sniffing, just get out of Bristol. I don't know anywhere safe. The Black Hill Cove, over on the West Road. Boy's mother runs the inn alone. You go stay there. It's as good a place as any away from these. What if the boy returns? The and boy ain't gonna return, my love. No chance. Him and that ship are never going to see Bristol again. Captain Smollett. I have been engaged on sealed orders. That's right. To sail this ship for you, sir. Where you should bid me that I accept. What I don't is not choosing my own hands. My time is my money, Smollett. Captain Smollett. And you were not prompt. And what I don't accept is learning from the hands my schedule for departure. We are shipshape and seaworthy, and we sail tonight. You are not the captain, sir. My father served 20 years as an officer in His Majesty's Navy. And you're not your father, however you dress up. I am captain of the Hispaniola with full authority over every man jack on board. And I will not learn my orders from the crew, and I will not accept a sealed order commission only to hear gossip from the men of our purpose. What do they say? They say treasure, sir. They say the Caribbean Sea. How do they know it? Black Dog saw me, sir. Word will be about. And that's why we sail tonight, Captain. If this talk is sure of where we go, we are not safe here in Bristol. I don't like the stink I of this. I cannot sail without you, Captain. I don't like the haste or the secret. Good day, sir. I'll double your money as we stand here. Tell me what men you've brought with you. Richard Joyce and John Hunter, both good Christian men. A doctor. Very well, we'll billet them here, make a garrison of the stern. You do not trust the men? I don't know the men. We move the powder and the arms from the forehold, keep a small store in this room, and until I know the cut of my crew, we keep a watch at all times. Uh, no pipes to pipe old John on board, lads. No, not yet, though, ain't John. What's this, George? Why is powder being stored up? The mould is a captain smell it. Oh, aye. Ah, Mr. Mary, if you will. What? If you want a chatter, get yourself a dress. Get down to the assembly room. That's where all the women go. What? You scum. I'll slit you. George. Miss Drarrow is in now. John Silver, the seeker. <laughs> Any more trouble, I'll tell you, and you're now leave port, you understand? No trouble, Mr. Arrow. Just welcoming his old shipmate Johnny on board. I meant nothing but respect and jollity, didn't you, George? Trouble, Mr. Arrow? Just check him where we stand, Captain. Or where one of us stands, because the other one's lying on his back. Just teething, Captain, just uh, teething. Get down below, barbecue. The men will need feeding. Barbecue? All right, Captain. Come on, Jimmy. Help all barbecue with his taters.
Don't worry about Mr. Mary, Jim. I've seen fist fighting, Mr. Silver. I've seen my daddy break up worse than that. Well, then you know. Big dogs always go for each other on the first day. Calm down after that. I know that. Yeah, George Mary will wear his nose like a badge of honor. Badge of honor? Why'd you call him Flint? Because this birdie is the biggest thieving backside and parrot who's ever sailed the seven seas, isn't she? Old Flint, he's got a lady parrot in every port. Maybe like you one day, lad. Because you and I, we're going to be thick on this voyage, I can tell. You're smart as paint. Remind me of myself, and that's a nice compliment coming from me. Now, you and I have got to make sure this crew is in a happy place. So the first thing for a secret to do is to make sure his officers are happy. So why don't you get this tot along to Squire Trelawney's? Sir, you know the doctor and I are partners with the Squire on this venture. Well, what exactly is this venture, Mr. Hawkins? I do hear talk of sealed orders. Well, just if things come as we hope, I'd like to say there'll be extra for you, Mr. Silver. Well, thank you kindly, young sir. Old John can sure do with a little lift. So, Mr. Hawkins, why don't you take this settler along to your partner? Sir. Almighty God, protect me and my ship from the vagaries of the sea, from the leviathans of the deep, the capriciousness of the winds. Grant your servant the wisdom of command. Come in. Set it for Mr. Silver, sir. Uh, yes, set it down. Sir, do you know when we'll be leaving port? Very soon. Captain Smollett is to catch the tide.
Time's up. And then it emerged like a ghost. I heard he could appear and disappear at whim. Like your mate's coinage, yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> what you got, mate? Oh, that's a lucky joke. I heard. Flynn took merchantmen, he put the survivors in jolly boats, right out on the big wide, and he watched as they starved to death. Yeah, I know that too. So, you fancy playing cards with old Israel, do you, Master Robbins? Can I leave your pockets? If you want, Mr. Hans. I don't believe them stories that Flint is dead, you know. Oh, he's dead for sure, Mr. Arrow. Yeah, died skin in a Yankee brothel. I heard they took his body out of the sea and dumped it, and now it's in the belly of a million fishes. And how do you know? Well, I caught a fish the other day, and it tasted of cigars. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, oh, oh. You're in trouble, Israel. Big trouble. No, Mr. Dujon. Sorry, lad. <laughs> you cheated old Israel! I'll slit your throat, lad! Israel? It takes a shot to know a shot, and I let him down easy. Get out of it, Jim. So where's the grub? Hmm? Captain's rations, Mr. Arrow. So this is where we keep the rum for the officers, Mr. Arrow. And this is where I keeps the key. So being first mate, you can come and go. Stored him up, Davy. Yeah. One look at that squire and he was going to be cheap. Or haste profit. They live in port before he was fit. That's a true word. I know people who've sold this old tub. They said she needed a refit before she went again. Thank you, Long John. Mr. Arrow wants eyes on the crew. And they'll put in a good word for you with the captain if you keep watch on George Mary and his real hands for us. Report to us, Silver. Mr. Teacher. As a seeker, you can always try Barber Surgeon. Sing 
Bladed out and pistol primed by them with knowledge of the map, and that is when we'll pounce. In the meantime, we'll bring all the crew over to our side. Those who stay loyal to the officers, we'll kill them. Cabbage to go to Port Valley, gentlemen. Apple sauce. The doctor fought at Pontanoy, Captain. Really? With the 23rd foot. As did my friend Lieutenant Gascoigne, who did not have a high opinion of our doctor. What? I don't think I knew Lieutenant Gascoigne. Oh, well, he knew you and knew what words to use to describe your bravery in the face of the enemy, Dr. Lipsy. No man knows how he be till he looks a Frenchie or a Spaniard in the face. Hey, Doctor. I know many a man who's bravery... Shut up, Silver. Yeah. Squire Trelawney, whatever you've heard about previous incidents, I assure you on our business venture, I... I'll feed the men, sir. Great depths. Slave in the rocks. I think we need to clarify the term, our business venture. Tell me, Lindsay, what were you hoping to put up to secure the loan? What do you own with a guaranteed worth of 5,000 pounds? No. You will earn a good wage as the medical man. The boy is budgeted for a wage too. I hope this clarifies any misunderstanding. Yes. Did he cut you out of the profit of the voyage? He did. Your doctor, he meant nothing for you, didn't he? Didn't he? Tell me you did. What the wretch do, man? Sit down. Now there's torch him below decks. I only hear it. Of a map. The squire shows our port of call. And that. There. Because I'd love to see it, you know. For the journal. Yeah? You know, a ship's log. Get the bearings, you know, because no one knows where we're headed. You've seen it. I don't know. Because the rumour is the map was yours too. You're not seen it. I don't know. It'll be a large piece of paper and will look like a map. What's 
fat. Ginger. Chewing it's a trick for your tongue. Go on. I'm trying to get some sleep. Just looking for some food, Mrs. Dassel. You paying, girl? I'm paying. Some eggs, I see there. A drink, if that's acceptable, Mrs. Trouble girl. Where are you going? Just staying off the Bristol Road. What kind of trouble are you in? that follow my orders when I spring the trap or get their due. So are you with me, lads? You're cooking for silver now, boy. I'm oh, sorry. Bring the sun down to the horizon. When its lower limb is touching the The Dujon! To the top, sir. See to that. Fool to the top! The sun is no longer rising. You got that? Yes, Captain. To the top! Let me mark noon. Then we work out the latitude and we begin to place ourselves here on the map. It's not dreams but fixed stars that govern a life. They're always there for you. Have faith in what is constant out there. Dr. Lipsy. Mr. Dujon! He's dead, Captain. What happened, man? He fell from the top sail, Captain. The rattlings up there are rotten. Mr. Anderson! Go see. Captain. I saw him fall, sir. I saw him grappling and falling up there, sir. Mr. Arrow, you ran the checks on the main top mast before we sailed. Mr. Dujon. It just gave way, Mr. Hans. I was stretching my neck, sir, and I watched him, eager to get down the length of the yard arm. And it gave away under him, sir. Boys have complained about it before, Captain. Not to me. Mr. Arrow knew it, sir. There's a feeling below deck that... 
What? Well, it's not my place to talk, sir. Below deck, we say that we left port before we was right. There can only be one outcome, Captain Smollett. It's preposterous. No, it is not. As captain of this ship, I shoulder the blame. I apologize, men. You know, Deck, we feel say that hears and profit are the officers on this ship, sir. And are valued by some more than they value men's lives. Withdraw that. Make him withdraw that. Accidents are life, gentlemen. And it is clear that Dujon's negligence contributed to his own death. Give he was no negligent. That is enough. I give the man a... Christian burial, the deep to his maker. The sooner we get to where we're heading, for good for all. Be in that mist in an hour. Real thick, Joe. And remember, these are Flint's waters. And this is what Flint would do, boys. He would wait for the ship in mist to it. Then he would come through it. You got any children, Israel? One or two, John. Don't go telling them bedtime stories, whatever you do. One of the privateers from the Americas? We don't have the speed to outrun anything. Kill all the lanterns. Kill all the noise. Sir. Kill the lanterns. Kill the noise! These are the captain's waters, John Silver. Did you say that, William O'Brien? He's back from the dead, John. There ain't no thing as spirits. Flint dare to be more evil than when he was alive. I told you, boys, that's the old man's spirit. There ain't no thing as spirits. You call that then, Silver? That route will take an extra four days. If we, we cut through Bermuda waters, we'll reach our destination by Friday. To sail without convoy is dangerous. There are pirates near Bermuda who wait for such a prize and as And I've us. read of privateers, sir, under commission from American colonies to clean up these waters, but act no better than Flint himself. Stop this! Your orders, sir, are to follow a direct route. The crew are seasoned seafarers. They know the trouble in these waters. They will not sail in them. I believe they can be persuaded, sir. Good man. I believe, Captain Smiley, if we're primed and ready for a scoundrel's attack, the boys I've had for will take the direct route, and the others will come along. I feel almost sure of it, sir. Good man, sir. Light up, boys! Check the pistols and the powder. Gun crews primed and practice on the gun deck. Where's Mr. Arrow? Below deck. And incapacitated again, I'm afraid, Captain. Did you give him liquor? No. Where does he get it from? Mr. Merry. You'll be my first mate now, until further orders. Aye, right, sir. Load him up, boys! Up!
Of well, course, cool, sir. West by southwest, Mr. Gray. By southwest, sir. Oh! How much longer will we need to stand to, Mr. Silver? Oh, day, couple of days. Depends on our port of call. But now would be a very good time for that map to walk out the squire's cabin, come down here, walk into the galley, walk past my eyeballs. What do you think, Jim Hawkins? Oh. Now would be a very good time. We should get Mr. Arrow below before the captain sees him. Mr. Silver said not. Said he was like an untethered dog. Drink in comfort like a friend. It's where weakness goes, Jim. Down a man's throat. The one I saw had um, more markings on the island. Squire Trelawney must have made a fresh copy. <laughs> but I want to trace the original, not this. But everything's there, latitude and longitude. For your journal. We haven't seen the map, have we, John? If we got that, I reckon your word would come tumbling out. Patience, boys. Patience. <laughs> All right, here it goes. Think of the lives you're going to live if you follow my orders now. You never have to follow orders again. <laughs> Think of the happiness this treasure's going to bring you. The wives you're going to have, Tom Morgan. And the 35 wives you'll have. And none as good as mine. John Arnold! Mr. Merry, you score this gentleman below and put him in irons. You killed the Get the nose, the captain says, man. You killed the enemy! I'll kill him! Get him! Get him! Get him! I know many of you have served in His Majesty's Navy, as did my father. 
from whom I've learnt many things about the service. It's beauty, it's danger, and it's discipline, which must be insisted upon. For the crime of the attempted murder of a gentleman, Mr. Arrow is to be disciplined. Take the body down below. Mr. Silver? Smart, it's apparent this way you are. Mr. Silver? I can tell you're a good lad, Abraham. Smart, it's pain. You remind me of myself. And that's a high compliment coming from me. Now, you know where Flint's our crew. If the time is right, we're going to take this ship and the trailer on the island, which is ours by right. Oh, don't talk to him, Mr. Silver. But will you be with us? Yes. Yeah, I'll be with you, Mr. Silver. Smart lad. Is he with us? He says it, but we'll see. Yeah, I'm with you, boys. Get us an apple, Abe. Oh, that'll be all of them tonight. Except for Jaro and Alan. And your Jim Hawkins. Boys need to take the ship now, John. We're tired of the wait. We still need to get eyes on that map. Your boy ain't gonna get it us. So we need to raid that cabin ourselves and kill the boy with the others. No, he's one of us. And that'll be a good of the best of us. And if he doesn't make a man's decision to get that map, we will wait until Trelawney organizes his digging party. That's when he has to produce it, and that's when we'll strike, not before. Have I your word? Do you think I've come this far not to kill him, George? Do you think when I'm riding in my carriage, I want that captain or that squire turning up and operating the rich man's law? When I call it, I'm going to kill that Bible reading hypocrite with my own bare hands.
Good morning, gentlemen. Squire Trelawney will be leading an expedition to the hinterland of the island to proceed with his business. I thought, Captain Smollett, I might lead an exploratory party this afternoon. No, no, no. My, uh, my men won't be doing any work this afternoon, but they'll rest. I think we'll only need that. Captain Smollett, may I remind you? No, you may not, Mr. Trelawney. My orders are to rest the crew. Is that understood? And to give these men extra rations of grog. You're all free to be masters of your own enjoyment, boys. For those who wish to visit the island, Mr. Merry, Mr. Silver, would you organize boats and provisions? With pleasure, sir. The curfew is set for dusk. May I pass on, sirs? The boys thank for your excellent seamanship, living us safe and with God's grace to our port of call. Three cheers for the captain and Squire Trelawney. Hip hip! Hey! Hip hip! Hey! Hip hip! Hey! One for the grog, hip hip! Hey! Much appreciated, sir. Can't deal with much more of his patience, not John Silver. Israel, you can and you will. You come in, Alan. Joe. Come on, lads. Is there room for me, Mr. Silver? There's room for you, Jim. Is going, Jim? Yes. Will you come too, Doctor? Please, will you come? No, but I want to report from what it's like. Flora and Fauna and... Well, interested to see for myself tomorrow, Jim. He's in good company, Doctor. Don't worry. Good. Told his mother I'd look out for it. Just outside! You know what one of these is, Widow Hawkins? Can you read? No, Mr. Redruth. Widow Hawkins, this is a legal document made between your late husband and my client, Squire Trelawney. Your husband borrowed money. Did you know that? No. Is that his sign? Yes, it would have. It would only have been to cover the rent. Ask for leeway. Before the squire left four weeks ago, Widow Hawkins, he instructed me to take possession of the inn as it went into arrears. This is my home. Not from tomorrow, Mrs. Hawkins. Yeah. 
stolen from me. No, sir. I would... Where is it? Maloney. Have you stolen from me? Where's the map? Where is it? Have you stolen from me? Get out of the Get out of the I'll bet my eye on you, Jeff Toby. You're a smart Remind me of Long John when I was young. Pants are free. Alan and I know there's talk of uh, taking a ship, Mr. Silver. Well, that's why I want to talk to you, Joe. Because I think you and Alan are gold dust. But when the killing starts, there'll be no middle ground. With the long job, I sign on uh, an honest man. Appreciate that. My daddy always told me to be honest, John. My daddy said the same thing. Maybe they knew each other. So Alan and I are going to step aside. When it's done, we were no part of the hall. Only drop safe so we can catch an honest path home. Please, stop. Please, stop. That was, that was Alan. Let me go. What are you doing to him? It's, it's starting. Stop. Alan. Wipe this. Nice and clean. You get used to violence, Jimmy. Would you understand that without it, without carrying through on the threat of it, clean both sides. Other men, take what's yours. That's the truth. And they live the life that should be yours. Getting with us, John. It's a bloody job, Mr. Hawkins. So, Jim, what's it to be? Where are you standing, boy? Not yet. Not yet. Kind of a stronghold on this side of the island. Am I might remember yes, that right? Yes. It's to the left of the beach where Silver is. Let's try it. Oh, quickly, lads, quickly. Hurry! Hurry! Oh, 
they're in the other jolly boat. Use the cannon! Shoot them out of the water! My name's Jim Hawkins. Jim, what's Christian about you then? What? What's Christian about you then? My, my name's Jim, Jim Hawkins. Like the hawk, Jim? Like the hawk? That's right. You got a piece of heaven on you? A piece of cheese is like a piece of heaven, I say then. I ain't got no cheese. No heaven then. My godly duty, Jim, is to kill all those of the devil in their own. There are those that come to us in devil form. That I know. And with stringy meat. That old John Silver could, could cook into a stew he could. Now, Bingo. Bingo just chops and sizzles. You know John Silver? That silver on the beach, I saw that. Silver in the sea. Yes. Flint. Not Flint. Flint's dead. You with the devils that have come to kill Ben Gunn? No. Steal his palace? No. I'm not one of Flint's crew. Up there. Get up!
Walk on then, Jim. Walk on then. Whoa! Boys! Boys, what's the game here? You see where they're riding, John Silva. One lucky shot, and they're taken out. You all have the luck of the devil to take all six of them with double shot. Especially knocking back the rum, boys. Get out of the way, Silva. Cook the food. Clear double shot. No, you're George, we got no powder to waste here. We got that squirrel and that cat to where we want them. Like rats in a trap, John. Like rats in a trap? Listen to Tom Morgan, that sudden burst of wisdom. You don't go wasting your advantage trying to shoot birds in a nest from here. Says who, Silver? Cook the food, barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> Says your captain is where I am. Like we all agreed. Your captain is going to turn a blind eye to the mutiny you started before I gave the word. My time has passed. For patience. Because you got Flint's treasure map now. Not yet. But the squire ain't got it, has he? Been taken from his cabin. Tom, get the grill going on the deck, will you? All right, John. Everyone seems a little peckish. I miss, John. I could eat a horse. Well, we're fresh out of horses. How about fish? In God's name, will you strike the colours, Captain Smollett? No, sir. They're acting as a mark for our position. Can you not see? If I strike the colours, I strike my authority, Mr. Trelawney. And I will not show one ounce of weakness to Silver and his men. Your posturing, sir, will get us killed. And the more they shoot with their bellies full of rum, the more they'll waste. This is absurd. Stay where you are, Squire Trelawney, sir. Hunter, Joyce! Sir. sir. Stay on duty, boys. Matters are fine. Now, sir, a question. When you planned this expedition, did you prepare for a relief vessel to come searching? As is practice, should we not be back in Bristol by a certain date? I did not, sir. How long will our stores last, Captain? Three days, Dr. Livesey. Three days. And we have ammunition for one fight. With your black eyes. Run, run for your life, boys. Run, run for your life. There'll be four and twenty thousand. Let me try. Run, 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 run for your life, boys. Run for your life. It can smell your fear and it can take your breath. Run for your life. Run. He's alive inside your twisted head. Short on melody, strong on purpose, don't you think? Oh, I quite like it. Did you do that for? I did that, Billy O'Brien. Because buried on that island is our money. Money we earned with Flynn. Through our honest murder and our gift for thievery. Now you can jump around here like bloody monkeys in the trees. Or we can work out how to go over there and go and get it. Whoa, <laughs> quiet, quiet, boys. This is a sober man talking. And we all know how trustworthy. It's a man that doesn't drink, so we <laughs> Now, this afternoon, I kept my counsel when those intellectuals among us were trying to shoot down a flagpole from over a thousand yards. And what did that get us? You see, Longzon? Nothing. Did it get us the map? It did not. Did it get the cannon over to that island where it could wreak some proper damage? Well, what do we do next, Longzon? What we do is send a spy I would watch their camp and find out where the boy is. Who be our spy, John? Can you swim, Tom? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> so Tom is our spy and the rest of you can act like a crow! So I'm respecting me again as captain. Do is for me. See your pause.
that are unanimous. See my rescue then? You made this boat. I'm the skin of these devils. It's not Flint's walrus, but I'll be back in the colonies one day. Me and the rescue out on the sea. Did you sail with Flint and Silver? Where are you taking me? Walk on. Nail. Them colors. Christian Chip. Captain Smollett. And that's where you'll go. This stinking paradise ain't got no arms for you, boy. Go, boy. Go on. Get your hands in the air! Who sent you? No one! What do you want? To speak with the captain. Did Silver send you? No, he didn't. This boy is a spy. No. I ran away from that murderer. I've been in the island. We should hang him for the traitor that he is. Find him, Mr. Joyce. Sir. No. Captain. Come on. Doctor! You know me! You knew my father! Your father is a waste to Hawkins. A debtor. And as untrustworthy as you are. And now Silver is your father, you will answer for it before the law. No. Captain, I want to be with you now. I've done nothing to endanger Hold any of you! Hold your tongue, Hawkins! Why, he's just a boy. Find him to the post. Sir.
thank you. Appreciate the help. Appreciate your kindness, missus. And when Squire Trelawney's man comes again, I will reason with him. Ask him not to evict us. Because, Mrs. Silver, my son is on an expedition with the Squire himself at this very moment, which uh, promises great reward for them all. And with that reward, my son will be able to settle his father's debt. Sure of it. But I won't stay long, Mrs. Hawkins. I need to try Bristol again. My husband's a seafaring man. He's a good man. I find a way of getting to him. Then we are the same. You wait for your husband. I for my son. Like a truce. Like a truce. See it? I'm waving it. What do you want with your flag of truce, Silver? Captain Silver, sir. To come aboard and have a parlay. Make some turns. Hunter, you cover the west wall. Ray, you take the north. Dr. Livesey, watch the scandal like a hawk. I don't know a Captain Silver. Ah, well, since the original captain deserted his ship and come and put his pretty little rag somewhere new, those poor fatherless boys out there elected me in his stead. And reluctantly, I've stepped up to the responsibility. I see you've caught one of our best. Jim? Arrest this man, Captain Smollett! Keep your gun in your mouth quiet, Trelawney. Is that clear? Flag of truce. Ah. Pipes of peace. You want to parlay proper? I do want to parlay proper. I want to parlay proper with the pipes of peace. Which is quite difficult to say this early in the morning. Now, you are outnumbered. You ain't got the ship, there's no relief coming. You don't need that spineless quack to tell you there's pestilence in this place. So, we should take the map. Hand it over and we won't kill you. You know what I've never understood about you buccaneering men? It's not really about the money, is it? You rob, you steal. Get your hands on riches more than a decent man like me will ever see. But there's no contentment there, is there, Silver? For many, that's true. For many, it's a life. And they die in a life. But that's not me, Captain Smollett. That's not Long John. I'm going to live out me days in fine clothes with my fine wife, riding in carriages. Back in Bristol, I got me a bank account. You stay alive and you'll see that now. <laughs> Give me the map. We haven't got it. We know you have it. And give me the boy. Show us this act of mercy and I'll return the mercy by letting you be. Let the boy go. No. Let him choose. Captain! You keep to your words, over as a captain. 
Aye, aye, Captain. Come on, Jimmy. Just keep walking there. Don't take it out of your pocket till we're well away. That's it. Pleasure sailing with you, old gentleman. You've got a new family now. I'll look after you like you, like you was my own son. And I will, Jim. And I will. Captain Smollett! Jimmy! I have the map, sir. Give it to me! Well, I stole it from him, that's what he asked of me. But I never gave it to him. I never gave it to him because I knew it to be wrong. It's them that are the wrong ones, Jimmy. You saw it with your own eyes. Get out, Silver! Come with me, Jimmy. Where you belong. The next time I see you, you'd better come bladed up, man. I will, Smollett. I will. And those that die, they will be the lucky ones. I wanted to go with Silver and his men, sir. Because I saw no other way to stay living. Because his stubbornness and his greed was leading us onto the knives of the cutthroat. So why not join him? It's enough, Jim. Because in the way he treated Mr. Arrow, sir, I saw a little difference between their law and his. And I was scared for my life, Captain Smollett. I was scared for my life to follow this man anymore. Get the map. Sorry, 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 sorry. Do not. Yeah. He's going to hit us as soon as he can. Now he has no choice, which is what we want. I want us all on the perimeter. When you spot the alarm, I want you all in there. And you as well, Jim. Sharpen your blades, lads. It's time to play the Reaper. Father was not untrustworthy, Jim. Why, Trelawney was wrong to say that. I should have said so myself at the time. But... I was a good friend, he was, and a good man to your mother. You should be proud of him. Silver's got a spider face written here. He's coming. Now, don't tell him of Benny Gunn, will you? Don't tell that devil I'm about, for he'll kill me as he's gonna kill you. Why? Betrayal. Betrayal of his crew. That's what I am. 
And when he knows that, he'll send me down to the hard place, Jimmy. Don't let him send me down to the devils. All I want is a piece of heaven. How did you betray him? Struck a deal with another crew, I did. And wanted the treasure for myself. Brought them to the island. And we looked all over for days. But they got angered and tired of me. Left me alone. And alone. My punishment. How long? I counted a thousand days. But I say a quick prayer about when Sundays do. Those a thousand I spend looking for gold. Come and help us fight. No, you'll die before you beat that devil. But if miracles happen, you tell your captain to come meet me on the high rock. And not to bring colors, but cheese. Tell him to bring cheese. I want it, Jimmy. That's all Benny Gunn wants. I want my heaven back. Lindsay, you take the door, fire through the porch. Hunt to the north side. Aye, Captain. Great, it's a Cloney. Take the east. That's where the big wave will come from. They're all inside. Georgie. Dick, half the men and go from the north. And sharp to the blockhouse. Dick and I will cover. The rest of you, go from the east. We'll pinch them in the middle. On my first shot, lads. Gentlemen, aim for the center of the body. Make it count. You can listen for my voice in the melee. Squire. Him too. And don't shoot the boy. He's mine. Then there is no one left for me to shoot at. Think you can do a job for me there, Doctor? Yes, yes.
Are you hurt? Come on, lads, let me see him! Here, Captain. How many did we get? Only six or seven made it out, sir. That's better odds. Squire. <laughs> Please help me. You lily livered cowards. Didn't see you fighting there, Silver. I'm covering fire. I've got one leg. What am I supposed to do? I'll them to death? We're so near the money, boys. Get off the grog! Now, you two, go and get the deck cannon. That'll do it for us. Go on. Go on! And we'll set up camp here. All right, John. Let's look. Oh, Tom. Oh, lad. Will you read to me, sir? Yes. When you get home, we'll be home with us. Tell my children that their father loved them. Say thank you to my wife. The Lord is my shepherd. Sir. I shall not want, I will. I will tell them. Will you see them right, sir? He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, oh, fear no evil. My rod and my staff, they comfort me. I doubt the wages of a cabin boy will even dent the interest. Oh, no, no, you don't understand. My understanding, woman, is that Squire Trelawney's orders were to take possession of this property while he was away. On your way, girl, go on. 
Why are you burning? What you can't carry from this place today will be sold or destroyed, as is the law, woman. Oh, they're my husband's clothes! They're my son's! Make your sign. You headed for Bristol? I was thinking that. You know people there? You have money? Your son Jim is with this Trelawney. Yes. My John has a bird on that voyage. Yes. I saw your son in Bristol before the sale, so I knew this was a place for me to come. You saw Jim? My John said he would look out for him. He is a good man, my John. I think he can have sympathy. He showed sympathy when he found me. Which was where? Where did we go? We appeared for my company and then... then took me out of that house. I think there's a place we could stay, at least for tonight. Two separate holes for these boys, Mr. Gray. Don't, don't bundle them in with the other scum. That's fine, sir. You get a shovel, that's what we'll do. No, the, the boy will do the shoveling. He's staying here. You and Dr. Livesey will go with me to get the treasure. We'll get picked off one by one, we go up there. Don't question my authority. We can't defend this place if we don't have any shot. And I have the map, which is the upper hand by any score. And I will go a-hunting! But we won't follow you, sir. He's right, Doctor. We can't defend that place again. Not even against Seven. Especially if he thinks to get that cannon off the ship. There's a man who could help us, sir. His name's Ben Gunn. He's no friend of Silver's, and he knows the island. We think he may know of somewhere more secure for us than here. That he could hide us out somewhere. He survived here for three years, Captain. It's worth a try. We can't stay here. You know where to meet him. He told Jim of a place and says he wants contact. I'll find it, sir. Take Trelawney with you. No, no. It's good with the sword. Sir, the squire still has thought for only one thing, and it's a fool who looks for treasure now. I'll go alone. Pistol for one shot. Thank you. Cheese, like Jim said. If he's trouble, I don't think twice about binding him. That's what I was thinking. Jim, I owe you an apology. No. Not so much. The simple truth is, I think. 
We're not always the men we hoped we would be. That's the truth. Just don't lose the cheese. Dad, if he gets hold of that, we couldn't stop him. Not with the ship so near. He also leads the venture with Squatchalani. He was a friend of my husband. I know he wouldn't mind. Every toll gate, every turnpike out of Bristol, till I got wind you walk this road. I'm leaving a silence now in our talk, because I'm angry Long John's money is not in your babbage. You got it. She knows nothing about it. Who are you? Who am I? Black dog. I'm your nightmare, love. Where's this money, girl? No. Books in their silver, I swear it. Did you see that? Should have never left Port on a Friday, John. It's the day they killed our Lord. 
You listen to those Christian folk, Dick. You'd be scared silly just waking up in the morning. They're not getting that cannon off, are they, George? They're hitting the bottom. They'll be here by morning. Christian about you then. What are you talking about? What name you go by? David. David, Dave. David is. You the captain, Dave? I have cheese for you. Jim told me you like cheese. Should I leave it here? There's cheese on there, then, is it? Yes. Go home. We all do, Ben. But we're in serious trouble now. Silver has the ship and the cannon, and we need your help. We need to move from the stockade. If you can find us a place of safety on the island, we can get you home. Have a palace, Captain Dave. The palace I built. Where is it? Is it safe? to this life either. But we need money and the rooms, maybe job in the kitchen. You can do that, mate. 
That was Flint in the mist, Long John. And it was him we saw last night. And now he's made our ship vanish. The ship is Israel hands. Israel's only fit for gunnery, George. Can't sail. Where is it then? Don't know. This place is cursed, Long John. We're dropping like flies. And if Flint knows we're going to cheat him out of his treasure, he's going to come to us in the night and stab us as we sleep. What was that for? Flint! He's dead! His ghost isn't! Flag of truce! Where's our ship? I don't know where the ship is. Go on, George. Flag of truce. George Mary. This is a flag of truce. And the law states there'll be no killing this. There's no law here. Yeah? Only noticed. George! What I got to say, I say to the captain. Gentleman to gentleman. What I saw yesterday, Doctor. You're turning into a fighting man. Ah! Isn't that how it went, George? Will you come doctor into my boys? Fevered up and Tom Morgan needs better nursing than me. I'll do that. It's Parlay. Piece of ship. Where have you come from, boy? Hey? Ship's drifted around the other side of the island, and we need to bring her in. Can we do it? I'll beat you. Here's right to do it. Just a mo' cell. 
So, come on. Take the wheel, Jim. So you full of seafaring life, are you, lad? And neither was I. I got pressed about your age. The Navy types there. They're crooks. They don't pays. I heard that. Oh, you did, did you, lad? Think you could cope with killing, Jim? You gotta be man enough not to care after it's all done. I could cope. You gotta be strong in a religious way, or have no fault for God at all. I could cope. I reckon we'll be about an hour or so then, Captain Jim. Two points starboard it is, Captain. Bring you in slowly. I ain't got no control of that, man. This is good. Bring her in straight. We're we doing it, Mr. Hans. Don't struggle, boy. Don't struggle. And it comes. Here's your chest, boy. Got your powder wet? Did you? You're gonna die now, boy. You're gonna go up to your own place. Up there, just like that man in the Bible. I'm gonna kill you, boy! James Hawkins. Boy as smart as paint. I'll say what I am in a job. We're gonna slit his throat.
Parker would be all this cute. Let us go. Nothing. John, we've got no ship. You tell we're them, John. Okay, they've got you the only fresh water we on the island. We can't money, John. That was owed. And your captaincy ain't got us a single the coin. Spy. The boy is currency. Why can't you see that? The boy is awake. Jim, where's the captain? Where's the doctor? Have you killed them? What if we have? Well, we haven't. Because seeing the ship gone, that doctor traded half our stores for this stream here. Now they've gone where they've gone. But they're parting words whether they were sick of you, Jim. Sick of you and your turncoat wanderings. So now it seems you're back in my camp. Or none at all. I won't join you, Silver. Not now, nor any day, never. Slit it! No. I am your captain, and I am sick of this Kelly. You're still clinging to captaincy, John. I'm calling a cruise conference. Outside, boys. Don't go out there, Tom. Tom! Uh. I've lost them, Jim. Since the ship's gone, there's been a swell of anarchy. And you're half a blank away from death, boy. I ain't afraid to die now, John. Well, bully for you. But you die here, and that mother of yours is all her own in the world. You take it of her. Jimmy. We gotta help each other a bit. Cause you and me is all we got now. George Murray's gonna come for me. It's in the air. But I got insurance in my pocket. If you've got an ace in your collar, now's the time to reveal it, boy. Cause God help me, I don't wanna see you die. God bless me for that. Give me something so I can help you. Up in the north, it's safe. The ship. Hans and Anderson are dead. I done some of that killing myself. Well, we won't mention you killed their mates, but the ship is good. Good insurance. Come outside, John Silver, and bring the boy. I said you were smart. Step up, then. What you got? It's the black spot, Jimmy. We took a vote. And it's on account of your bungling, Silver. And your best friend, Patience. Says deposed on the back. We listen to you. Now we've got no treasure, no man. And we got no boys. Could you let them right to the gun? You were never man enough to be our captain, John. So is it not man enough to say that me and the boy have got the ship safe? Where? The boy knows, and he ain't told me. But says the payment will lead us there. And that's the way it's going to stay. You're lying. And is it not man enough to say that when that fierce doctor came to negotiate passage this morning, that I got through a captain's guile possession of Flint's map? The doctor gave you the map? Prove it. Touch. That's it. That's Flint's hand. George, that's Flint's hand. Why'd you keep this from us? What was the point without a ship? But now I can surprise my loyal boys and say, let's go and make ourselves rich. Yeah, <laughs> let's go now. Shall we just uh, throw this away then, lads? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>
There's a pointer. You'll be up, John. Up. What you see? John? What is it? That cap, boys. That's Allardyce. That's our captain's pointer. <laughs> what was that, John? How far was it, Silver? It's definitely Flint, that is. It's all right, Jim. What's that? What's that you say? It's Captain Flint. Is that you, Captain? It's not Flint's voice. Well, what was it then? That's his song. I know that voice. That's a Yankee voice. That's Ben Gunn. Ben Gunn, that you out there? That's Ben Gunn. How can you be scared about him, boys? He was a runt when he sailed with us, and he's a runt now. I know your Yankee voice, Ben Gunn! Right. And the devil is done the <laughs> Did you kill him? Didn't I? I? I did, yes. It's only 100 yards now, lads. 100 yards from the point and then 12 places from the Seba tree. Come on, let's go there. All right, hold on for your captain, lads. There's hold the on. Tree. That tree, that tree. Wait. Wave your captain! Oh, no. This ain't good, Jim. Stand by for trouble, boy. I'm going to stay close to you and John. Guineas. Big fragile father, John. Two guineas. Huh? Boom! Ah, oh, you're the man for the bargaining, are you? With your captain's guile. This cripple has led us to nothing, boys. He's two guineas worth a life's worth. Stand behind me, Jim. This is our boy. You keep your guns on him, boys. I'm gonna hang this mongrel from a tree. Be safe, Jim. Yes, sir. Say you've been excavating before us, Dr. Livesey. Not me. 
It took two and a half years to find the spot, like all over the island. Young Mr. Gunn. Shall I kill the devil, Captain Dave? Kill all devils on the island, all that other slant in their eyes. No, Ben, don't. Ben, don't. Can someone tell me where my treasure is? Captain Dave's treasure it is. Maybe Jim's. Maybe his there, whose name I forgot. Don't know what he's called. Bargained away the treasure for a cake of cheese and Trelawney's Bible, didn't you, Ben? <laughs> it's like a slice of heaven, Mr. Silver. It's everything you want. Is it now? This is my house, Christina. Captain Smollett. Safe, Jim. Good to see you, young man. What's he doing? Between him and Jim, the others are dead. Me and Jim, sir. I looked out for him, I did. You're a mutineer, Silver. Are you doing the adding up, Squire Trelawney? A little bit of bookwork. You're a mutineer. And you will be hanged as one when we get home. I think the lab would talk of a different John Silver. One who was forced to mutiny and a crew he tried to control. You've seen what kind of a man you are, Silver. Silver came between me and a knife and Captain. He risked his neck on my behalf. I hope everyone's listening to this, honest young man. Get that man in irons, Lizzie. No, let's try and have some better thoughts, shall we? Ones that befit gentlemen. Now, you did a deal with a professor of divinity over there. Something about cheese and a Bible. So you could do a deal with me. There'll be no deal with you. I'm the only one left alive who owns this gold. Who earned this gold? And ownership is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Well, that's a different law, not one I like. I don't care what you like! I don't care about the law! You're a thief and a murderer! You've brought peril and destruction to this... this whole enterprise! All this... this... this mirror here... and... these sacks... this chest... all this... these coins... They're now legally mine, my possession and, and my ownership, because I have taken them through my venture and risk. Trelawney, the risk you took was with other men's lives. I was talking of a risk financial. Which does not exist separate to men's lives. However you try to insulate the thought that it might. This is contraband, sir, stained thick with blood. And when we get back to England, if we manage to get off this island, it will be handed over as such. Aye, aye. I have the ship, sir. Beached up on the north coast. There is another way to end this, Captain Smollett, which is perhaps more palatable to the futures of all present, which is we share a little what's one amongst all us loyal survivors. And we share it, each according to his station. And you being the captain, sir. You being the captain. Put Mr. Silver in irons, Dr. Lipsy. He will be tried for mutiny. In Bristol. Sir.
<laughs> Captain. Be watching you, John. Watching this last dance all the way. <laughs> I know that. And I'll be the last thing you see when you do your little jig at execution dock. <laughs> <laughs> I was loyal to you. Fifteen years, my captain. Loyalty. Loyalty, John. Is what you can hold in your hand. <laughs> Thinking, Christian Jim. Thinking of my home and what's there for me. This is my home. You're coming with us, Ben. And now that the treasure's gone, no devils will come and hurt me here. Take my head. That's what Ben Gunn thinks. That's what he'll do. What are you doing? Protecting you from the, from the world out there. You'll do all right in the world, Ben. seen him blistered and starved in the boats of that gold. There's no heaven out there. It's the right way, Hawking. Keep going, sir. The nets is ballast to the quarter deck, Jim. Sorry. I'm gonna need much weight on the stern to help lift her off. Dr. So Livesey, Mr. Gray. Sir. It's that cannon from the bow. Bye, Captain. Tide will do the rest.
you doing? Hey! Stop that! Stop that! What are you doing? Any more of that and I'll snap your neck! <laughs> it's all going! Well, let's stop him! Let him do it. There's two more bags to go, Jim. Secure Mr. Silver below deck, Mr. Gray. I yes, saw. Let's get to Jamaica, crew up, and go home. It's wonderful, Jim. Suitable feast for our last night. On arrival in Bristol, Mr. Gray, I'll need the assistance of the sergeant at arms. Right. We'll need to take Silver into custody. Are you still planning on speaking up for him, Jim? I am, sir. I will, too. I chose to stand between Jim and death on two occasions. It won't save him, Jim. He's one of Flint's men. And he'll drop for that alone. Potatoes, like I told you. I did. Plenty of butter. That's the thing. Pad your sounds up for chilly winters. It's fit enough for the captain's table, this. We made a sea cook out of you. When will we dock? Tomorrow morning. Something you can do for me there. The woman you met down the spyglass. My wife. I don't want to come into the trial and see me play there. Will you see to that? 
you for this. Take a bit for your mum. But my girl gets a lion's share, all right? Where do you get that? I'm a bloody thief, Jim. They gave me a load of treasure and told me to drag it through the jungle. <laughs> me and the parrot have been thinking. We don't want a lab with prospects getting tainted by speaking up for one of Flint's crew. So you don't do it. All right? I don't want it. I'll make a fine gentleman, Jim Hawkins. Now, look at this mashed potato, all mashed to high heaven. Fine enough to grace any captain's table. You can go now. Feel that spirit inside. Come look at the long jump. You'll be waiting. I will. And keep Flint for me. For safe keeping. Go on, go on. I'll come for him one day. Remember, Jim. Any fast living, come looking. Be there, I will. A gentleman. He's a fine gentleman. 